So welcome to the next episode of the Microbiology Tube. So today we'll be talking about the antibiotic susceptibility test. This antibiotic susceptibility test is also called the Dix diffusion method. So Kirby Bowe Dix diffusion method is called the Dix diffusion method. So don't be confused between the Dix diffusion method and the Kirby Bowe Dix diffusion method. So this Dix diffusion method is widely used in order to detect the antibiotic susceptibility test because it is one of the economical method and it is recommended by the CLSI so and it is it is also easy to perform so actually we need some of the some of the uh, instrument in the in performing this test one is the petri plate next is the cut and swap the next is the antibiotic susceptibility test and we have to prepare 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 mac for in the standard and the medium required is the Muller Hinton agar and the brain heart infusion broth. So this method is also called the Kirby Bow Dix diffusion method. So you have been uh, so I have written a lot of the instruments here. So one is the petri plate. You know the functions of the petri plate. So we pour the media in it. So actually we pour the Muller Hinton agar in the petri plate. Then after we need the cut and swap, we need the cut and swap in order to carpet culture the microorganisms into the Muller Hilton agar. I will show you how we do. Then after we need the antibiotic susceptibility, antibiotic dix. So antibiotic dix is needed to know the whether the antibiotics uh, works or not against the particular bacteria. So then after we need is the 0.5 mac forland. So 0.5 mac forland is needed in order to uh, in order to measure the turbidity of the microorganisms so what actually we do is that we put the microorganisms in the brain heart infusion broth so you put the microorganisms in the brain heart infusion broth we incubated some for some time ex approximately about 30 minutes and we look whether the turbidity of of the bacteria that is present on the brain hot infusion broth is equal to the turbidity of the 0 0.5 mac forland or not so in this way if the turbidity is similar then then only we can do the carpet culture by using the cut and swab in the in the muller hilton agar so now so what is the procedure so what we have to do is that first we have to prepare the brain hot infusion broth so after we put the after we prepare the brain hot infusion broth then I, and then we have to inoculate the bacteria into the brain hot infusion broth so after the inoculations of the bacteria into the brain hot infusion broth so then after we leave it it for some time in order in order to absorb the uh, turbidity of the bacteria so after then after we incubate it for some time then we mass the turbidity of the bacteria with 0 0.5 mac forland so if the turbidity of the bacteria that is present on the brain hot infusion broth is similar to the 0 0.5 mac forland then we can do the carpet culture on the on the uh, muller hilton agar so the first step is to prepare the inoculum in the brain hot infusion broth so after that inoculum is prepared so what we have to do we have to prepare the muller hilton agar so firstly so what we have to do is that we have to prepare the muller hilton agar so after the preparations of the inoculum prepare the muller hilton agar by sterilizing it by autoclaving so it need not to be described the microbiologist can understand what is the sterilization mean so completely removal of the microorganisms by the autoclaving so then after put the media in this trial petri plate and leave it for 10 to 15 minutes to solidify so it needs to be solidify because we have to do the carpet culture so during the carpet culture the pressure will be applied and the media may crack if it is not completely solidified so complete solidification is necessary so then after what we have to do is that so this is the this is what this is the cut and swap so this cut and swap uh, this this cut and swap consists of this cut and swap consists of the microorganisms so what we do in this cut and swap there is the microorganisms the microorganisms is not from anywhere but it is from the bhi so suppose this is the test tube and this test tube is of the bhi so this is of the bhi so what you do you just suppose this is the cut and swap you dip the cut and swap in it and then after 
this is your cut and swap and your carpet culture here like this one so like this and again like this and again like this so in every part of the petri plate the microorganisms will be distributed uniformly so after the distributions by the microorganisms by the cut carpet cultures so what you have to do is that you have to place it in the uh, uh, place it in it for 10 minutes so that all these inoculums will be completely absorbed by the media so after then what you have to do is that you have to put the antibiotic ticks so you can see there is the antibiotic ticks here so antibiotics dicks we have put the antibiotic dicks here so after the after this is as this has been solidified you put the antibiotic ticks so majorly the antibiotic ticks we use is uh, is five antibiotics in a normal petri plate so after we put the antibiotics then after we incubate it for 24 hours for 37 degree centigrade so after the incubation for 24 hours at 37 degree centigrade so what we have to do is that we have to observe the zone of inhibition so anal and analyze whether the bacteria is sensitive or resistance to the particular antibiotics or not so for analyzing we have the CLSI guidelines so suppose this is the CLSI guidelines so suppose this is the CLSI guidelines and so what you need is that suppose you have the amicacin here so suppose this is there is this this is the amicacin and here you can see there is no zone of inhibition so there is no zone of inhibition and is it susceptible is it sensitive or it is it, it is resistance one so what is that so if you see here amicacin if that is the dix is 30 mcg so it must have the 70 mm of the zone of inhibition to call it as the sensitive but it has what zero so there is the zero mm so what is it it is the resistance bacteria resistance one so another suppose this is the one of the bacteria suppose this is one of the uh, antibiotic called septazidine and suppose suppose it has the zone of diameter of about 30 mm so zone of diameter can be observed by the clear zone of inhibition there will be the zone of inhibition where there won't be bacteria suppose this is the cefotaxim and it has the sorry septazidim and it has the uh, zone of diameter of 30 mm so will it be a sensitive will that bacteria be sensitive or resistance so how can we interpret so if you see here this is the septazidim and the zone of inhibition so zone of uh, inhibition is what 30 m 30 mm our zone of inhibition is 30 mm but to be sensitive we need only 21 mm so to be sensitive we need only 21 mm but we have the 30 mm it means it means this 30 mm is greater than 21 mm this means that the bacteria is sensitive to the septazidim so we can use the septazidim for the treatment of that disease so this is all about the antibiotic susceptibility test that is performed by the Dix diffusion method. The only you have to do is that you have to prepare the brain out infusion broth and put the microorganisms, mass that brain out infusion broth turbidity with the MAC forland, then that is ready for the carpet culture. And you have to prepare the Muller Hilton agar in the strial petri plate as well as the Muller Hilton agar should be sterilized. Then, after what we do, after there is after BSI turbidity mass with 0.5 MAC forland, then we have to do the carpet culture after carpet culture we have to keep the plate for the 10 minutes and we have to we have to put the antibiotic text so after putting the antibiotic test, we have to incubate it for 24 hours at 37 degrees centigrade and we have to absorb the zone of inhibition so and after observing the zone of inhibition we have to compare that zone of inhibitions with the standard guide chart that is the CLSI guidelines and determine whether the bacteria is sensitive resistance or intermediate or not so thank you for watching my video if you really like the video please don't forget to like the video share it and subscribe the channel thank you